It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Seahawks and the Giants on Monday Night Primetime. We are situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Tonight we finish off week four with a good Monday night matchup as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the New York Giants. to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So the Seahawks ready to take over on offense and it is a first time pro bowler who leads him out Charles in his 11th year now Geno Smith. I like this guy and the reason I do he tends to stay on an even keel doesn't let too much ruffle him. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed take what the defense gives him and then he can strike at times had a touchdown pass. Yes he had an interception last week but he found a way for his team to win. The numbers for Walker from last week's effort, 17 carries, 75 yards. They put a lot of effort into game playing, establishing this ground game last week, and reward was a nice day rushing the ball. Helped them put a balanced offense out on the field. And that carry is an indicator that this ground game wants to be established again this week. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. Well, this defense for the Giants, they were excellent in that win over the 49ers last week. Well, let's face it, when you hold someone to just six points in a game, the feeling that you have among your team is that you're not going to lose very many of those. That's the way to get it done. Runs through the contact. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of seven. And it gets him a new set of downs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A shotgun snap for Smith. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. Ken Walker was his target out of the backfield. And then a running on second down. You talk about this giant defense. It's quite a unit. Number one in the NFL against the Packs. And since this is such a good unit of covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typical of what we might see. A lot of short passes. See if they can generate some run after the catch. But nothing doing on that one. Here's third and a few inches. They'll try for the first with Walker. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Only a pickup of two, but that's all they needed for the first. And Walker once more. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Tackled on the play by Darian Beavers. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. They'll try the air now with Smith. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throwing on third down, Smith. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. First reception for him, and remember, he leads the NFL in that category here in this first month. Also has a first down. Throwing now is Geno. He completes this to Walker. And yeah, boy, here's a sight you don't want to see. Ken Walker injured on that last play. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Here's second and seven. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. He hits his target, Lockett. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Smith throwing again. Escaping the pressure right. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They'll get just a yard on the scramble at second down. Giants two yard 
Gino out to throw. And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Myers connects on the PAT. And it's now a 7-0 game. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And able to get this out to the 25. And the Giants ready to go now on offense. And under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some. They threw it accurately. One touchdown pass. So he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. It doesn't put them in bad situations. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 16 carries, 58 yards. They're coming off of back-to-back -back wins, and I think a lot of credit belongs to this guy right here because, to me, he's not only carried his weight, he's carried a few other guys along as well. He's helped draw defensive attention away from not just him, but open things up for his teammates, too. So if this winning streak is going to continue to have some legs to it, he has to remain effective and put together another nice game. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Got a man open, it's Darren Waller. He's gonna go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. A first down carry for Barkley. Fights off the defender. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football. Now second and three. As they've got it as we resume action. Steps away. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Daniel Jones taking it in for 14 yards out. And the Giants are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. And Daniel Jones has always been an integral part of his team's run game. Five touchdowns on the ground in the first three years. Had seven last season. So even if it's not a called quarterback run, he understands where the goal line is and often will carry it himself. You know the extra point, and we are tied at seven. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was finished off by the 14-yard touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Taking it at about the one. Pushing his way through. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. Uh, they entered play on a two-game win streak, and then they've got the open date on their schedule next week. So this is a group that's really looking to hit the break on a high note. And this will obviously be a tough game for them, but go ahead and play this out with me, partner. If they win here and make it three in a row, they get to heal up after that. You've got to think that's an ideal setup and a worthy goal to play for in this one. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down and eight. On the toss to Charbonnet. Gets around him. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Walker now at first and 10. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Dexter Lawrence finding his way through defensively for the stop. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Sticking with Walker on second down. Shedding the tackle. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. 
But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a game. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. The back deep for the Giants is Dory Jackson. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but... Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Jones. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. It's Barkley on the counter. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll go to Barkley again. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley, his first touchdown on the year. And the Giants have taken the lead. Well, we've said it many times. He is always a threat to go the distance anytime he's got the ball in his hands. And on this occasion, he did just that. Well, he's definitely the guy that makes this offense go. And when you're an RB1, running back one, you've got to be willing to be patient at times as well. Not every run's going to be the home run run we saw there. But once you get that opportunity and that opening, you take full advantage. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. That 7-0 lead of theirs is short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. To throw on second down is Smith. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Absolutely nowhere to go with the football, and he's just going to put this one in the Hudson River. Maybe he's a little fortunate he didn't get caught for grounding because that one was well over everyone's head. On third down, here's Walker. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. On the return, Jackson. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And it'll be giant football first and 10. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. First month of the season, those numbers pretty solid. Does he continue that? I think so, because when you come out of the gate this strong, that means that you have planned for it and you like the results that you're getting. So I wouldn't have any doubt that the head coach, offensive coordinator, actually called in and, and he called him in and said, look, you're our guy. Okay, we're going to continue to stick with this as long as we're winning games. You ready for the challenge? And then they presented it to the rest of the team. I think we'll see plenty of that as this season moves on. And I'm sure he said challenge accepted. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. 
Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Meanwhile, Jones' throw completely to Waller. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 23. 23 yards the pick up there. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he will take it out in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley in the final seconds of the first half. And the Giants will extend their lead here just before halftime. Well, fans of old school football, they got to be loving this partner. All three drives so far have ended in a touchdown and all three on the ground. And when you say fans of old school football, count me in because you just don't see ground games dominate the scoring by pounding the rock like this anymore. To me, this is refreshing. Extra point try, good by Gano. And it's now 21 to 7. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan. And we'll jump right over halftime and keep the game going here in week four. Second half kickoff, ready to go. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. Here's Robinson. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So now the Giants set to take over on offense. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. It's tipped, but it doesn't matter. He still catches it. Still on his feet. Touchdown, Giants! Isaiah Hodgins, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Giants come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. One play. 80 yards, pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Gano now to add the extra point. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. Here's Walker to start the drive. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Aziz Ojolari pushing in and dropping him. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Stick it with Walker on second down. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will score. 
Francisco. Touchdown, Sam. Ken Walker, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks get a bit closer. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Now that should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. And New York set to take the field. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. The escapability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. the middle with Barkley. 86 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 16. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. And the Giants are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. An injury stoppage, and it looks like, yeah, it's the quarterback, Daniel Jones, receiving some assistance. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. A first throw here for the backup, Taylor. On the move to his left. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Tyron Taylor taking it in from two yards out. And the Giants take a three-touchdown lead. What an effort there. Sometimes you hold your breath a bit when you see your quarterback diving for the end zone. You don't want him to land on a shoulder wrong or take a big shot. But he looks none the worse for wear here. And that winds up a touchdown. Gano the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Seahawks 14. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. Kenneth Walker headed back out there. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching again he's had a good game sticking with Walker on second down and he's brought down at the 34 call it a gain of four holding offense That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bobby McCain. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. I know some teams are leery about playing cover two because the strong safety's not usually a terrific cover guy. But in this case, he played it perfectly. Read the football and went and made the interception. The New York set to take the field. 
Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure you have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. That one goes for 24 yards. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Oh, look at the juke. And showcasing those strong legs on that run. Getting through one tackle. Now she winds up getting eight there. Second and a couple. Off the play fake, here's Taylor rolling to his left. And the stop will come inside the five of the four. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Barkley. Diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Gano for the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. So that drive, four plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Eskridge is going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. Back out now comes Kenneth Walker in the Seattle offense. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Has a tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? The ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. That's yeah, a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone once more. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now, Gino. And this is going to be incomplete. And you can tell just by looking at it that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here. And as a head coach, time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. With it is Jackson. It's a 47-yard punt, return of six. And they will take over first and ten. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. He's had a touchdown for every quarter so far. Three here in the third and probably hoping he's not done yet. And this is a situation where it's okay to be greedy. When you've already scored three times, you want four, you want more than that. And guess what? That only helps your team. Yeah, so far three, now in search of four. Side taken in by Slayton. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. This is the National Football League. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Taylor now off the bootleg. Got a man, it's Darren Warner. And he'll go down, but not before. 
before getting this inside the 30. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. Well, fans expect these primetime slots to deliver some of the best games each week. And, well, one team has certainly followed through with that tonight. Just an absolute clinic, Charles, on offense here. And they don't seem to be done trying to drive that football. Yeah, and continue your theme about one team enjoying it. One fan base is enjoying it as well. The other fan base, they might disagree with what they've seen, but the one that's winning, they're certainly getting their money's worth. Taylor incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. Barkley inside handoff. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. They need 12 here. It's third down. They go play action with Taylor. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. Gano's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Taking it about the one. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And out now come the Seahawks. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. On first and 10, Smith. To the right side and complete to Metcalf. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Smith. Setting up the screen here. This is Walker. Only three there on the screen at second down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing and they shut that one down with a little gain. To throw is Smith. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. A quick throw out to Lockett. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Smith. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. At this point, down big. You'd have to imagine this defense they are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire... Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on down. The Seahawks go for it, but can't convert. And the Giants are going to get the football back. Well, the D brought the house. They called the blitz, and they get to the quarterback, overwhelming the O-line. And I would love to know, and we'll find out later on, was that called before the play, or did they audible into it? Because defenses change plays as well as offenses. Sometimes they get the set they want. They go right to the blitz. And in this case, they nailed it. Got right to the quarterback. No chance on that fourth down. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. To throw is Taylor. And that's complete to Shepard. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 
This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. So the ball moves from their own 41 to the other 41 here for first and 10. Now it's Taylor. Oh, just a desperation heave there, and it's intercepted. Jordan Brooks with it. And the Seahawks are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 42. Throwing now is Geno. And his throw is incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Smith, and this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Possession of the football going back over to the Giants. And it would seem as if their three-game winning streak is about to go to four, but still a little work to do as they start first and ten. That's caught by Waller out left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Here's a give to Barkley. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Taylor going to throw it. They'll find Hodgins there complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. Let's go now. A handoff to Barkley. And not a whole lot of room to operate there in the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. They go play action now. Taylor out to his left. Taylor able to use those legs of his to pick up the first. At this point, this offense feels like they could just roll out anything, and it would work. They are certainly in no hurry for this one to end. Now when they can rack up some stats and continue to add to their lead. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Steps away. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Oh, this is a great decision right here. Out of the pocket to his left, and he knows if he waits too long, the defense is going to be all over him. So he makes a decision to go and wins the race to the pylon. The giant offense is going to stay on the field as they'll go for two. Taylor going to throw on the move to his left. And they are just not going to let up as he is into the end zone here for two more. I guess when you're hot, you're hot. I mean, I would just go ahead and take the extra point and move on, but apparently they've got something to prove. Almost feels like something was said this week, and they wanted to make sure that they laid it on them in this game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. 
Oh, a good looking return set up here. And a final kickoff concludes the ball game, partner. And one side, a really nice win in this one. They were good on offense and on defense. And I'm guessing in the other locker room, partner, the head coach is just telling his team, hey, we didn't play well enough to keep it close enough where that one possession down the stretch might have given us an opportunity to win the game. So for the Giants, that early momentum continues here as they move to 4-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Miami Dolphins. Meanwhile, for the Seahawks, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And fortunately for them, they'll have the early bye next week as they return to action in Week 6. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From MetLife Stadium, good night, everybody.